Hey guys, Alien Theorist here with a breakdown video. This time I'll be reviewing a new Alien Covenant preview video called The Next Chapter that was posted on the AVP Galaxy channel earlier today. So by now many of you will have already seen this, so I will try and dissect the video in detail and point out things that stood out for me. So in the opening scene, we are shown the crew of the Prometheus land on LV-223. In the background, we can hear Guy Pearce as the younger Peter Wayland narrate stating all these wonders of design and human ingenuity, all utterly meaningless in the face of the only question that matters, where do we come from? We then see the colony ship Covenant heading towards its destination. Note that the ship is heading towards a large planet, possibly a gas giant with three moons, which seems distinctly familiar. The clip then bursts into action, showing us what seems to be Shaw's transmission from aboard the Juggernaut, as we see the same holographic images as before. We see Tennessee and Daniels running through the ship in pursuit of the protomorph, before we get another glimpse of the baby neomorph as it is hunted in the wheat field. In the next series of scenes, we see clips from Prometheus as we hear Ridley Scott explaining that in Prometheus we began the quest of who made us and why. Sir Ridley then continues by drawing the connection between Prometheus and Alien Covenant as we see the Juggernaut arrive on Paradise from LV-223 as Scott points out that this is where the story will pick up. We then see David in conversation with Wayland. Addressing him as father, David says, if you created me, who created you? Wayland looks irritated as this is a question he cannot answer and a flaw in his belief that man is God. Clearly he is older than he was in the TED talk as in that video he spoke of being on the verge of AI but now we see him with a fully functioning David some time later. We get to see an image of the bridge of the covenant as Sir Ridley continues to narrate explaining that the story of the covenant is happening 10 years after Prometheus and how the crew have ventured to the far side of the galaxy to colonize a new world. We get to see an image of Billy Crudup's Orem standing on the deck, captain-like, perhaps confirming the rumour that James Franco's character dies in cryo. Sir Ridley continues to narrate, specifically mentioning Walter, before we get an image of Michael Fassbender's character in the colony cryo section of the ship. What's interesting here is that when Walter is called to the bridge, he responds to Miller. The operating system first seen in the 1979 Alien. We then get to see Michael Fassbender appearing as David, as we can see he is still wearing his spacesuit from Prometheus, albeit looking tattered, faded and old. Fassbender continues to explain how the crew pick up at a stress call before deciding to take a look at this planet. We then get to see an atmospheric readout of the planet, with oxygen levels and nitrogen levels stated. I noted that the planet is said to have a diameter of 2,350 kilometers, which is interesting as it seems to discount the theory that Paradise is LV-426. Source materials differ on the size of LV-426, with the accompanying novel to Alien claiming that the diameter of the planetoid is 1,200 kilometers, whereas Alien's Colonial Marines Technical Manual stated that the diameter was 12,201 kilometers. Nevertheless, Ridley Scott continues to describe the planet as a planet of great mountains, rivers and forests as we see clips of the expedition team landing on the planet and setting out to explore. He continues to describe how Covenant's explorers discover something that leads to a serious cataclysmic event. We get another nod to Alien and Prometheus as Tennessee mentions the quarantine protocol as we see the backburster scene. Following this, Michael Fassbender directly describes how Alien Covenant is similar to the first Alien film in terms of it being gritty and dark, as we get to see a glimpse of David's experiments with what seems to be Neomorphs spawned from mutated pods. We see the image of David tentatively watching as Orm investigates the egg, and the next scene shows Walter help Daniels and Tennessee hunt the protomorph aboard the ship, but what I found odd about this clip was that Walter seemed to have a gauze-like strip on his face. 
whilst this is most likely an airpiece, it stood out as it seemed very low tech given how the crew on the deck of the Prometheus communicated with those in the temple. So I wondered whether this could be a wound dressing for a scar instead. We then see a new clip of Daniels as she gets set to do battle with the creature aboard the ship in what seems to be the climax of the film before we see another number of images shown in all our trailers such as the one where the protomorph tries to break into the ship. Lastly we get another reference to the 1979 Alien film with the image of the derelict on LV-426 behind the credits. This is similar to the end clip shown in the recent IMAX featurette which sparked theories on where exactly Paradise is located. So what do you guys think? Do you think that David and Shaw will arrive at Paradise directly after leaving LV223 as Sir Ridley says? And what do you make of the continued references to the derelict on LV426? As always, let me know what you think in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe for more news and theories on the Alien Universe. Thanks.